Welcome back to G-Shot Outdoors. Today I am going to do a little sequel. If you remember my last video, or if you watched my last video where I did the Sonic Boom versus the Tannerite, I did a comparison between the two and during the day and at night. However, in that video, I really only compared the flash. Like, which one had a bigger flash? The Sonic Boom had the bigger flash, and it also burned for a much longer time. However, just because it has a bigger flash doesn't necessarily mean it has more force, like more explosive power, more outward force. So today I want to try to test that and see if we can judge which one has more outward force. We've got the Tannerite here, which has the darker aluminum color, and the Sonic Boom, which is much lighter. Now I have a theory because again, if you look in the last video, when the Tannerite exploded, there was like a, a dirty dust, like a dark colored dust, almost like a yellowish tint to it. Whereas the Sonic Boom didn't have that. I think it might have something to do with the quality of the aluminum that they use, for, of the powdered aluminum that they use for their product. The Sonic Boom has a much cleaner, what appears to be a much cleaner aluminum, whereas the Tannerite appears to have not so clean and not so pure aluminum and that could have something to do with the reason the sonic boom had a bigger flash but today i want to test out which one has more blast power or explosive power so first we're going to do the tannerite you can see here i've got it in the swamp this is a pretty decent sized area of water and i've got you guys sitting over here i'm going to go up into the path and I'm going to shoot this, and we're going to see how much force. We're going to try to judge the amount of force by the amount of splash. So we're going to start off with the Tannerite, and then we're going to move up to the Sonic Boom. Now let's have some fun. Now if you've been watching my previous videos, in my last video you might have noticed that I had a little aerial view. So I'm actually going to put this up in the sky so we can get an aerial view of the blast as well as the GoPro downrange where we can get a side view of the blast. But we're not going to have a good view of the blast right here. As you can see, I've got a pretty much a line of sight for the shot, but we can't really judge the, the splash from here. So hopefully up in the air, we'll be able to see something and then downrange on the GoPro. So you can see it right there. Got it set up out in the swamp. And again, just like the last video, I'm going to be shooting it with this DPMS AR-15, and I'm going to be shooting two two threes. So let's see how big this blast is. I don't have a good way to prop up out here. I didn't really think about it. I was thinking maybe I could just stand up. But I found a couple of sticks. I'm going to create a brace or a, uh, a stand out of these by crossing them together like so. And this should be keep me pretty steady. So I'm having a little technical difficulty, but I think I've got my GoPro going. I know I've got the drone recording. Now I'm gonna take my shot. <laughs> that was a good shot. <laughs> Now I've got the second one out there. You can't really see it very well because I had to move it over just a little because the log that it was sitting on uh, obviously is completely gone now, but there's still a piece of that log there. Also note to self, can't control the GoPro and the drone on the same phone simultaneously. And unfortunately I've only got two phones out here. The other one is the one I'm filming with. And then my other phone is the one that I'm controlling the drone with at the moment. Now we're going to shoot the sonic boom and see how the splash is on this one. Oh man, the stick broke. That didn't work. Things I do for you guys.
This is the container that I just shot at. You can see here, I definitely hit it. I'm wondering if I hit a stick beforehand and turned it because it almost looks like it was tumbling. I don't know, it's hard to say. But there was definitely enough power going into that to where it actually blew it out the bottom. I don't know, man. Like, that's just like the last video. Apparently, Sonic Boom is very difficult to ignite. It's not as sensitive as a Tannerite. Sonic Boom, take two. we go okay now I gotta return my drone to home before it dies so just like before you can see the tan right is on the left and the sonic boom is on the right like I said earlier in the video on the left, the Tannerite, it has more of a yellow smoke. It's more cloudy. It doesn't look as clean. On the right, the Sonic Boom doesn't have as much smoke and has more of a flash. However, side by side, it's really hard to tell much difference at all in the height of the splash or the, the width of the splash or anything like that. So moving on to the sky view, on the right, it looks like the sonic boom is has a slightly larger ring around it than the tannerite on the left. We can watch that again. On the left, the tannerite. On the right, the sonic boom. Definitely a bigger ring on the sonic boom. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. I'd have to say that they're very similar. After reviewing the footage, I didn't see much difference. It looked like the Sonic Boom might have been slightly stronger. But then again, it's really hard to say. Uh, as for the flash, the Sonic Boom definitely had a bigger flash. But for the explosive power, maybe this wasn't such a great comparison. How about you guys let me know in the comment below what you think a good comparison would be to really be able to judge the full blast of each explosive binary target. So if you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And also, if you'll check down in our description, you'll find a link to our Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. So be sure to check those out. Also, if you'll look up in the corner here and down in the description, there's a link to our other channel called Geography. That's G-ography. That's where we post everything that's not gun, hunting, and fishing related. Because you know YouTube doesn't like gun channels that much. So that's it for now, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching G-Shot Outdoors. I love you, and I'll catch you on the flip side. At least I don't have to hit a two-inch target this time. I've got a foot pit. Uh, at least I don't have to hit a foot. Now we're going to try 200 yards again. What kind of fish you think you'll catch in here? I don't know. <laughs> Just kind of fish. Yeah. I don't think I did it. Really caught him in a pen fish. Oh.
All right. Nice. I need to go wash my hands. <laughs>